Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is going to be a quick video. Congrats to Kell Brook. Um, you know, total domination. He did what you know, I felt he would do. Um, you know, Amir Khan made a big mistake, man. He should have fought Kell Brook when he still has something left in the tank because he, did, he don't have it no more. He don't have nothing. You know, I said in the Gamble's Alert... Uh, shortly before the fight that, uh, you know, I thought there was a chance that that the guy didn't have it anymore. He had been inactive. Uh, he's aged. His hand speed wouldn't be the same. And it wasn't, man. His best attribute really wasn't even there anymore, man. You know, not like it used to be. You know, maybe, you know, compared to the average man, yes, he still has some hand speed. But, you know, it's not what Prime Amir Khan was. It, it was not the hand speed that he had against uh canelo not no not even close all right um you know there's really no need to to break down the fight kill brute basically was coming forward on the guy you know in the first round hell i could have made big money uh he could have stopped the guy he hurt the guy a, a few times you know it's like man the guys just don't have a chin man um just going forward on Khan. Uh, I mean, Khan couldn't couldn't handle a jab. And, you know, Khan was talking about, oh, you know, Kilbrook got knocked out by a jab. He was talking about how he got knocked out by a jab by Terrence Crawford. But you know, people got to realize, number one, Terrence Crawford is pound for pound one of the hardest hitters in the sport. You know, on a crazy knockout streak. You know, and then at the same time, Kilbrook was basically jumping into that punch, you know, because he was throwing a punch and was not expecting, you know, what happened to happen. He was not expecting fire to come at him, and he got called, you know, basically blind. And uh, he had snapped bad, so by a, a hard prime punch or so. You know, um, <laughs> I really don't understand why people thought Khan would win this fight, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, you know, with, with that chin being so inactive, he was with Bo Mack for the first time. The last time he was in a serious fight, he quit. You know, it, after one of the rounds in this fight, I don't know if it was the fourth, uh, I think it was the fourth, fourth or fifth, he kind of like, before he went to his corner, he kind of stood and looked at the crowd. It was like, the guy didn't want to be there no more, man. You know, it was like, I, 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 was, I was saying he ready to quit, you know. So he was just getting getting punched and battered around the ring. You know, he was done in by a jab. How ironic. And, uh, you know, where all the Kell Brook haters at now, you know, that, uh, you know, thought he would lose, said he was finished, all this and that, you know. So now Kell needs to be smart. He needs to fight at 154 and 160. Forget this, um, you know, this, this welterweight stuff, you know. Guy was in great shape, but he needs to go. He needs to fight, you know, 54 and 60, man, if, if he's going to continue. Um, you know, and, and really, it's, it's his call. If he wanted to call a day, you know, I, you know, no complaints here. You know, he, he got that 40th win. He got that grudge, you know, that, that grudge match victory, and he could go out on a high note. So, you know, really, it's his call. They were talking about maybe him and Eubank. You know, I, I wouldn't mind that fight because Chris Eubank did not look that good to me. You know, he wanted to be Roy Jones with his hands down and his head exposed. And, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, I wasn't impressed by him, you know, trying to be, uh, you know, Roy Jones. He's not Roy Jones. Uh, I think he's regressed, you know, trying to fight like Roy Jones. So, you know, that would be an interesting fight for Kill to take or... If you want to try to position himself, uh, you know, at 54 to fight for uh, one of those titles. You know, if uh, Charlo and Cassano have their undisputed fight, you know, he needs to try to work his way up towards the uh, top of the rankings, you know, in one of the sanctioning bodies. And uh, who knows, maybe those belts will become uh, vacant or um, he could possibly challenge the winner of that fight, you know, and go for a title there, you know. Or hell, I don't know who has the... Uh, the IBO 154, but maybe he can go for that, you know. So that's that's uh, you know some thoughts, but Amir Khan should definitely retire. You know his skills have faded. I don't his heart's not in it. Um, he looked bad.
you know, he, like I said, he should have fought Kell Brook years ago when he still had his hand speed. You know, of course, the chin was never there, but when he had the hand speed, he should have, you know, when he was more prime active, he should have fought Kell Brook. And uh, Kell Brook, you know, clearly more prime. He had been more active. Uh, he's stronger, tougher. And uh, the fight went the way it went. You know, not everybody can see why the guy was avoiding ducking the fight. So, you know, really, I think that's it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Hell, I just wish I would have made a profit off this damn fight. Um, you know, it was nice that it was better than even money. You know, if you picked either guy by stoppage, but, you know, to win significant, you would have to have uh, loaded up. And uh, this was not a load up weekend for me. You know, I'm uh, I'm saving up for that Spence Ugas fight. That's gonna be the big, that's gonna be the big play right there. So, um, you know, uh, let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, again, congrats to Kell Brook. Uh, you know, it's good to see see Kell in the uh, in the win, you know, getting the win column again. So, that's it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll check in soon. Thanks for watching.